here. I'm in Australian countryside. In Sydney, you can see so many Korean grocery shops, so you can easily buy Korean food. But in countryside, it's really hard. But there are some Korean food in the big supermarket, so I will just go and find what kind of Korean food are there. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. What is happening over here? I think I have my brush. Give me that. Hey. I really don't think we're gonna find very much stuff at all. I reckon like we find maybe two items. That's it. I don't think there's anything else. What are you doing, buddy? Bye bye. Bye. So it's a Sunday. Everything is shut except the one big spot. <laughs> Everything's already shutting because it's the afternoon. Australia, <laughs> especially countryside. Sydney is not like this. But, but in the countryside, everything yeah. shuts so early. Welcome to Australia. Welcome to Australia. Nobody works. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is how you know it's Australia. What? Cheesy bite. It's cheese and Vegemite. That's a Aussie mite. That's, that's like imitation. <laughs> Sometimes there's been Korean style like porky before. I can see like Vietnamese style, but I can't see any. Well, there's Chinese pork strips, but I can't see any Korean. Show me what you found. It's a pork knuckle. It looks like jokbal. It's kind of a version of jokbal, isn't it? Pork knuckle. Should I try? I mean, you could if you want to. Everything, Everything looks nice. Yeah, so this is like Sam Gapsal here. Yeah. Pork rashes. We got kangaroo steaks here. That's kangaroo. Oh, yes, kangaroo. That's yeah. definitely not Korean. What is this? What have you found? Bulgogi beef. Bulgogi beef. There we go. Korean. All right, we have to get this one then. Nice. Good job. Korean ones and, and yeah. you can buy the seaweed like that wow look at that all right to get one of these and one of these and what about this one Korean that, that's not Korean that's, yeah, in, that's, that's Indonesian I like <laughs> you like the mee goreng <laughs> All right, what else have they got here? Oh, Ta -da. kimchi. It's a tiny, tiny little kimchi. Okay, put it in. There are so many Japanese and Thai. Thai stuff, yeah. Uh, not Korean stuff. Yeah. There's Asian food here, but anything Korean? Oh, uh, dim sum is Korean. It's Chinese. <laughs> yeah, it's more Chinese stuff here, right? <gasps> oh, wait, look at this. Oh. Diana Chan's Korean beef dumplings. She's got Thai chicken ones as well. And okay, here we go. We have to get these ones. Look at that. Korean beef dumplings. Wow, we found something. We found something amazing. Okay, we are back with our stuff. So I live in an area which is the central west slopes and plains of New South Wales in Australia. So it's quite a big town. It's kind of like a country city and it services small town. Okay. <laughs> I think in Australia it's like quite big, but Hugh doesn't think it's very big. But it services a much bigger area. So like there's so many small towns, like everybody comes in to do their shopping here. And there are quite a few Koreans around. Yeah, but no. <laughs> <laughs> there used to be a lot more Koreans here because they would do their working holiday visas. Um, so I'm quite surprised at how many things we did manage to get. What do you think? Yeah, it's yeah, but 
It's, it's in countryside. <laughs> so first one, we have a single pack of gim. Uh, seaweed. Now, do they sell them like singular like this? In yeah, they do in Korea as well, but do. usually it's pack, a whole like pack. A whole pack. And how much do you think a single one would be in Korea? I don't know. <laughs> you don't know. This was one Australian dollar, which I think is a little bit expensive. Um, I don't know. <laughs> you really don't buy. You're a great help in this video. But the, the interesting thing about this, it's got a bunch of different languages on it. So this is definitely one that is made for export. Have yes. you seen this? Yeah. Yeah. Product of Korea. Yeah, and it says product of Korea here. So it's really one that is for exporting to other countries. Shin Ramyun from you can, Nongshim. You can buy this one like everywhere. everywhere. <laughs> yes, this is the they they put themselves everywhere. Also, um, there's like Nongshim in Australia. Oh, they are. So they they do stuff from Australia as well. Shinnan is everywhere. Is I I saw that ad or somewhere. They, mm -hmm. You can find this one in a everywhere North, North Pole. The at the North Pole. <laughs> Like everywhere, this one. <laughs> if you're somewhere and there's really no Korean food and it's been so long since you've had a Korean food, how does it feel to sort of like see this one? It's like, hallelujah. <laughs> you miss Korean, the taste mm. of Korea, but this one, like spiciness, like. Yeah, spicy noodles. Oh my god, it's really good. <laughs> and you can add anything you want, like you can mm -hmm. put some uh, vegetable or mm -hmm. some meat in it, mm -hmm. seafood in it, like it's really good. <laughs> How much was this one though? For one one pack of noodles? Dollar fifty. A dollar fifty. How do you feel about that price? Uh the similar a little bit more expensive than yeah. Korea, but this is from Korea. So yeah, it's, Korean. it's not that expensive. Yeah. Okay. Next one if you're looking for a snack, what do we have? Yang Pari, onion rings. Right. So this is imported and yep, it is from Korea. Like that. Nongshim again. I feel like Australians really like this. Like Australians really like onion rings. So I feel like this has been in Australia for a while. I mean, I used to have this when I was young, like mm. 20 years ago. Mm. Wow. So. And I feel like it's been like here for a long time as well. How much is this one? That one is dollar ninety. Dollar ninety. Yeah. I mean, that's okay. I feel but like that's the price not is really okay. expensive. Yeah. So it's okay. It's okay. Alright, now the most important thing for Koreans is kimchi! So we have a little tiny jar of kimchi like this. The funny thing is, this is made in Taiwan. This is a product of Taiwan. Koreans, what are you doing? You're not getting your kimchi to like the Australian countryside, but Taiwan is. What is happening? I mean, I mean like if you go to big cities, Sydney, Brisbane, Melbourne, yeah. there are really good quality of kimchi. Yeah. But I don't know, they are not like really working with uh, Australian supermarket. Mm, because so, there's so many Korean supermarkets in like Sydney, and so they're just, like, sort of like a separate thing, and they're not putting their products into like the normal Australian supermarkets. But if you think about like how many people are going to Australian supermarket, mm. right? Maybe because of the price rise and everything, it's more difficult. So maybe this is kimchi that is, it's they're targeting Australians that want to, that this yeah. is not for Koreans. May, I actually want to have a look at the ingredients. Cabbages, rice vinegar, uh, glutinous rice, syrup, <laughs> syrup from tapioca. That's a very Taiwanese thing, isn't it? Sugar, salt, miso paste, sesame oil, red chili powder, soybean oil, acidity regulator. Okay, the it doesn't actually say any seafood in here, does it? No. Because normally there's a little bit of something that's seafood in kimchi. So this will be interesting, interesting to taste. And what was the price of this one? Oh, this one <laughs> is quite expensive. Yeah. $4.50 $4.50 for this little one So if you go to a Korean supermarket in Sydney, how much would $4.50 get you? Probably this big Like a bigger, much bigger one Of course Yeah, but what if you're in the countryside and you're really desperate? You have no choice <laughs> You better make or yes, you... Yes, you make it, but even when you make it, you still often have to bring stuff over from Korea or go to Sydney yeah. for those ingredients So, yeah $4.50 
That's not bad. I think that's okay. All right, so the next one I thought was interesting was the bulgogi beef. And it's made with Australian beef. And I feel like bulgogi is a gateway food to Korean food. So maybe a lot of Australians have mm. tried bulgogi and that's maybe like when they go to a Korean restaurant, um, they'll, they'll have that. They know it, they know enough about it. Some people make it at home, like my brother makes it at home. Um, so I, I'm not that surprised that, that, that they've got this type of one. What do you think about it? Yeah, I mean, it looks pretty good. Mm. And then um, $10 is not It's not bad. Lot. And it's beef. Yeah, it's you know? beef. Like if you were in Korea and you, you were getting like this much beef, it would be more than $10. Yes. And if you were ordering this in a Korean restaurant, it would maybe the meal's ten dollars, but it would be like this much of the beef. Yeah. You still need to add like the carrots and the shallots and that type of thing to this. Don't need. I like to have vegetables. <laughs> the ingredients look very much how you would be making bulgogi at home anyway. So I feel like this should taste pretty good. I guess so. Well, we're gonna find out when we have dinner. This one is the dumplings. So Korean dumplings. Now, I haven't been living in Australia for several years, so I'm not sure who Daya Chen is. But she was the MasterChef winner 2017, so she's got her own range and everything. That's, that's awesome. Um, and so she's got some, like she's got Thai ones, there's like some Chinese ones, and these ones are Korean ones. So they look very much like Korean dumplings there. So it has Australian beef in it, and it's got like onion, cabbage, carrot, and it says it's bulgogi with bulgogi sauce. So we'll see if it tastes similar to this one as well. $3.75. $3.75, which is actually a pretty decent price, I think, for like the frozen stuff. You know how frozen stuff can be expensive sometimes? So we'll see the, you know, taste. Also how many is in there, because it could just be like three like this. <laughs> it is, it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, we're gonna check. And the last one? The last one we have is not actually a Korean one. So this is more of an experiment because we found this and it's pork knuckle and it's like German style, even though the, the brand is three, three Aussie farmers. And so why did we buy this one? Because this one looks like a little bit similar to Jokba. Yeah. So we want to try. Yeah, and I think it's like the similar part of the pig of like what Jokba is. So, and the other interesting thing is that it's served with sauerkraut here, which can be quite similar to kimchi, like it's a f fermented dish mm. like that. So maybe we can eat this one with to this. this. This is what I am thinking. This is just in the supermarket, and it's Australian pork, uh, but it's German style, and then we're gonna try it with kimchi. I'm like, gonna see if this tastes like jokbal, like so if you're a Korean in the countryside and that and you really want jokbal and it's really really hard to get, maybe you can try with this one. So we're going to see what it's like. And this was $6.91 and it's already cooked so you just put it in the oven 50 minutes and I think it gets a crackling or something on it like that. Nice. Which is not how jokbal is but you love pork crackling. So. Yeah, so we'll see. So we'll see. We're trying to do a thumbnail and like a storm is rolling, which is great because this area of Australia really needs rain because uh, there's been a drought, but it's just funny I'm out here with the kimchi like this. And what are you doing? You're just sitting out here with mummy's hairbrush. Thank you. Thank you. Watch out for these ants, buddy. All right, I think it's about to rain, so let's go inside. Let's go. Look at you, you little dirty grot. This is his Australian childhood. Dirty little boy playing outside. You want that one? You want the kimchi? Yeah! 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 We have the kimchi! We don't have the kimchi!
I wanna try this bulgogi first. Okay. Mmm. Does it taste like Korean bulgogi? Yeah. It's nice. You know, in Korea, even in Korea, people use Australian beef. Mm. So it tastes like exactly the same as Korean. <laughs> It's really good. I just want to say that there's saucepans and random stuff on the floor from this guy. <laughs> that's why there's random stuff there. Alright, next one. Now you burnt these dumplings. So that's your mm. fault. You taste them and you tell me. Okay. So we cannot blame the chef because you burnt them. It's not because I burnt. It looks similar to Korean dumpling but tastes a little bit different. It's good. It's really good. Mm -hmm. Okay, try the kimchi. Kimchi. Oh. The best oh. What is this? <laughs> People think this is kimchi. Ah. <laughs> it's sweet. Oh, really? Well now you know how Western people feel when they eat garlic bread in Korea. How come this is kimchi? It looks like kimchi but doesn't taste like kimchi. Be. Mmm. It does. So this is a hack for Koreans, right? To buy the German. It's quite pop. cheap. And then mm. it's like chopper. Okay, try, try with I don't one. like this, but um. Uh, So pretty good with this one, but if you eat this one with the kimchi, real kimchi, I think it will be really good. Mm. It tastes pretty good. Like really tastes like jokbal. Mmm, really good. Impressed. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> this one. Mm. This digit. Okay. Right, and gim we know what it tastes like. I think Korean one is more sweet, um, saltier than this. Oh really? This one is, um, I don't know. Mm. Tastes different from Korean one. Try gim. Okay. This one as well. It's not as salty? Not as salty as Korean one. Oh. It's Korean one. It's all Korean, but I don't know. It's uh, less crank crunky. Crunchy? Crunchy. Mm. <laughs> less crunchy than um, Korean one. Oh. Korean one is very crunchy. Mm. But this one is less crunchy. So I'm cranky. <laughs> Alright, and this try one. the ramen. This one will be still the same. But actually first time I bought ramen from Wooters, like the mm. big supermarket. I always buy ramen from Korean uh, grocery shop. It's for Australian and New Zealand market. So it's less uh, spicy and mm. less uh, saltier than normal Korean one, I think. And but the German one actually tasted more really like... Really good. <laughs> really good. And this bulgogi is really good too. With Australian beef. Yeah. yeah. Um, quite impressed. And uh, this kimchi. Uh, no. You can make a better one. Come on. This is not a proper kimchi. So I've lived in the Korean countryside where it was very hard to get like Western stuff, like let alone Australian stuff, even just other Western stuff it was hard to get. And you have lived in the Australian countryside where it's been hard to get Korean stuff. You survived that. Obviously. <laughs> so let us know in the comment section if you've lived somewhere and it's been very hard to get uh, food from your home country and how did you feel? What things did you really, really miss? And also if there are some place to get some Korean stuff in nearby your place. Yeah, let, let us know, know what let us, you can get. If you're not in Korea, let us know 
like what Korean stuff is available near you. We'll be heading back to Korea really soon, but please subscribe to us if you haven't already and check out all the stuff that goes on the blog and our social media and we will see you later. Bye bye. Bye.